Hey, welcome back to another Korean grammar lesson in a minute. And today we're going to look at how to say it seems like or I think. Okay? And I, a couple of things I want to mention in this title here. I put number one because there's a few different ways to say I think. Actually, there's quite a few ways. And well, I'll have to go make a video for all of them, I guess. Um, second thing is I use verbs here, but I'll make a separate video for how to use adjectives and nouns uh, with this grammar rule here. And actually, it's almost the same. And our third thing I want to mention is this is used for past tense. Mm. These ones are used for present tense, and these ones are used for future tense, okay? Depending if it's patim or no patim. And all of them end with kata, at least the conjugate form of kata. So, at nun, kokata, okay, especially for present tense, um, after a verb to show what you think or what it seems like. Because kot kata literally means it seems like. Kot means thing, and kata means like. So, whatever you said, whatever verb you said, like doing well, it's like that thing. So, it seems like. Okay, doesn't make sense, but it will when you kind of <laughs> look over a few times. Hada means to do. Here's our present tense, nun kokata, present tense form. So, tar hanun kokata. Tar hada means do well. I think he does well. Or it seems like he does well. Okay, it seems like he's good. Right, at tennis or at chess, whatever it is. Tar hanun kokata. Let's do past tense now. Same thing, same verb. Hada, there's no patim here, so I use nian. Kokata, it seems like. So poso is already han did. Already did kokatayo. It seems like. It seems like he did it already. Poso han kokata. So the difference between this one is hanun versus han. Okay? But this is a different tense. And our last one here is kungbu hada. We're gonna change the tense again. This time we're gonna use future tense. Ryu kokata. Kungbu har. Will study kokatayo. It seems like. It seems like he will study. Or it seems like, uh, I think he will study. Both are accurate translations, okay? So I hope that makes sense. That's how you generally say, or the basic way of saying, I think of something, or it seems like something, okay? It's extremely useful. Um, if you don't have a good grasp of it, I would recommend you study this video a few times, okay? All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.